What's up everyone? Welcome to or welcome back to my channel. If you don't know, my name is Maya. If I like it, then that's what I get. Yeah. I want it, I got it, I want it. In today's video, I'm so excited to finally be showing you guys my new apartment. So let's get right into it. So when you first walk into the apartment, it is a super big open floor plan, which I really love. So there's no corners, there's no walls kind of hiding it like you guys can see. So right to the right of you when you first walk in is this little coffee station that I created. So we just have a little calendar over here. I change this every morning when I go and make my coffee. Um, I also just have a little bit of sanitizer because, you know, COVID's real and you gotta sanitize often. Um, I have a little wax melt over here, which I believe is from Senti's. And then we have a little pot of sugar and a little pot that says coffee on it. And these just hold my K-Cups in them. Um, these are both from Marshall, so unfortunately I can't, you know, tell you where to get them. But I got them from Marshall, so if you can find them, definitely get them. They're super cute. Then over here, we just have a Keurig. I believe this is the Keurig Elite. I might be wrong, but it might be what it is. And then as you guys can see in this cabinet, I just keep mugs. I own a lot of Ray Dunn mugs. Those are my favorite type of mugs, as well as extra K-Cups. So now we can head over to the kitchen. So like I said, it's a big open floor plan. So right when you walk in, you see everything. So over here, we just have a bunch of cabinet space. It's super nice how much um, storage we have because everything can be hidden instead of it having to be out in the open. We have a, a nice fridge right here. It's just a regular fridge. I nothing too crazy about it. But over here, this is probably one of my favorite parts about the apartment because I always saw it on Pinterest and I was so excited to finally create it. So if you see, I just have these jars that I got from Ikea. I think they're like six or seven dollars each. And then I just put all different types of pastas in these. So we have bow tie pasta. I actually don't know what this one is called, but it's the one that's all different colors. And then we just have angel hair pasta. I think this just makes it look so cute and it's something that's so random i'm never gonna actually cook this pasta but i really like it over here then we have two cutting boards i believe i also got this from ikea and this one is from marshall's again it's just like cute little decoration but i'm never gonna use those cutting boards but i think it looks really nice we have a little spoon rest obvious reasons knives obvious reasons um in this cabinet right here this is where we keep our plates cups wine glasses for my brother because he's 21 i'm not um bowls just you know the necessities that you need for a kitchen and then coming on this way, again, super nice that we have a built-in microwave. And these are like the fancy appliances. These aren't like, you know, the little like whatever ones. These are really nice appliances. This stove, it's so hot. I'm telling you, it cooks your food in like three minutes. It's actually ridiculous. Moving on over this way on the next side of the cabinet, I just have this really pretty Lazy Susan, which again, I got this idea from Pinterest and I'm amazed that it actually came to life. So I got this little um, oil, and these are, this is vinegar, I believe, um, holder. They were from Michael's, and then obviously just oil and vinegar from Target, probably. This little bowl is from Michael's, I believe. These are from Target, I believe. Uh, Michael's, all the flowers are from Michael's. This is from Kohl's. Just a cute little candle. Like I said, I really like how it's set up and how it came along. I also have a little diffuser back here. Oops, which I actually started it. Um, I normally put this on at night, so when I wake up in the morning, it smells so good coming out here. But I just hide it in the corner because it doesn't really need to be seen. But, you know, it's white. It blends in, but it really makes it smell good. Then moving on, we have this Grand Island, which again, I keep saying everything's my favorite part of the apartment. But this, for real, is like a game changer because we don't have to get a dining table. And it can double as like a desk or just like a nice lounge area if we want to change from the couch or our bedrooms. So over here, I just have another uh, tray. Again, I got this from Ikea. Here is a, what is this called? What's this called? Hourglass. An hourglass. This one was from Marshalls. It's 30 minutes of time. I never do anything in 30 minute increments, so I never use it, but I just like having it there. I also like to keep my wallet here just because it's easy to pick up on the go. I have a cute little fake plant here. Again, probably Marshalls. Here's a candle from Kohl's. When I tell you, it smells so good. If you can get this one, please get it. It is the Scent Work by Harry Slapkin. It's like a $30 candle. I think I got it for eight bucks and it is so nice. It smells so good. Then over here, then coming over here, I just have this little holder holding my soap. Um, you're gonna see it's a theme throughout the apartment that I have these little plastic bottles holding all the soaps or the sanitizer like I have over there. But this is just dish soap, really simple and basic, but I feel like it really adds and it makes it look more like sleek and chic rather than just having a dish soap there. Um, then again, 
Another 10 open coals. Smells really good. And then we have paper towels, self explanatory when you need them. I also really like the lighting in this apartment. Um, these obviously came with it, but I just think they're really cute. I like that they're silver. I like that they are cheap. I don't know. I just like everything about this apartment. But coming over here, as you can see, we just have these little bar stools. Again, from Ikea. Super cute, super comfortable. I think they were probably like 80 bucks maybe. I don't know, but they spin around. Great when I'm editing, great when I'm doing some homework. Really like these chairs. Then again, we keep moving over. Another great thing is we have an in-unit washer and dryer, which again, we are super thankful to have this because not many apartments have this in there, but it comes with it, so great. And then coming over here, we have my bedroom. This is the last thing you're gonna see. And we have the living room. Now, like I said, I really like how this living room turned out. It is just neutral color, lots of greenery, lots of plants, a little bit of customization in here. So this light right here is from Target. This is a light one and then it has like gold accents. I keep saying it reminds me of a pencil. I don't know why, but I call it my pencil light. <laughs> um, it's super cool. So this couch is actually from Ikea. It was just the two seat sectional. Um, if you guys will watch my Ikea vlog, I have all the names to it and all that and it will be in a card right above right now. So this is just a beige, grayish, brownish couch. As you can see, I don't really know the exact color of it, but I really like it. Um, I don't really see couches this color and I don't even know what it's picking up on camera, but I'm telling you, it's a really pretty color and it just ties in it all perfectly. I have this little cute circle pillow over here. I got this from Target. This one's from Target. This is really plush. Um, I don't sleep on the couch, obviously, but you know, if I ever want to, this is like super comfortable and nice to hang out on. Then over here, I have this pretty flower um, pillow. I know I said in the vlog that this was not staying here, but I think it's pretty here, so I'm gonna leave that. Then we just have this little uh, tray over here and we have a candle on it, some coasters and a fake plant. But what I love about this, look, can lift it up and move it around. It's super lightweight. Um, I could literally pick these up, put it somewhere else and use it to eat or whatever, entertain. As you guys can see, I don't have a little like coffee table in front of the couch. Just because it's a smaller area, I don't want to put too much in it, you know what I mean? Then coming over here, we have my little garden that I actually was just created. Um, so we have a little like, this is actually a fire pit. Like it's for a bonfire. Um, so if I ever lit that on fire, this is going up in flames. So remind me to never do that. But it's super cute. I just want to use it as like a little log. Then we have these little trays that we got from Marshall. This top plant, it's actually fake. I just thought that it really helped blend it all in and I really wanted to have a variation of like levels and whatnot. Moving on, we just have this super cute entertainment system. Is that what this is called? Okay, cute entertainment system, uh, TV, obviously. We have some books under here which are super cute. These are some of my poetry books from my self-help books. Then moving on over here, we have some of my brother's books. He's a history major. He likes history and all that type of stuff. So, you know, his books tend to be about school, which is not my vibe, but you know, that's what he likes to do. Then, um, what is this? Salt lamp? It's a salt lamp, but it like shoots out essential oil, which is super cool. Then over here we have this ladder, which I've actually been looking for for a super long time. And I found it at Marshall's for like 50 bucks, so great steal. Then I just put a nice little blanket on here and a little fake little flower leaf. I think this really brings in the entire living room. I think it really um, adds levels to it, so it's not just like a plain one site. I like that you gotta look up, look down, look over. Um, but overall, I just really like this apartment. I almost forgot to mention, I have these three really cute, um, graphic design poster things that I actually made myself. So we decided to push the middle one up, but I actually like how this one turned out way better than if it was just gonna be in a straight line, but I really like these, and I'm super glad that we ended up going with them. Then, coming over here, finally, what I know I've been keeping a secret in my bedroom. Now, on the opposite side, it's my brother's room. It's the exact same room, um, but you know, his face. Maybe one day he'll give you guys a tour of his bedroom, but I'm not sure. All right, so it's my bedroom. Um, sorry if it's a little dark. It is pretty laid out. I should have filmed this earlier, but I didn't know, sorry. Um, so when you come into my room, you are entered right away with some ring lights. I have two of them on Amazon. If you guys want to know why I have this little stand, how I use them, go watch my how to take Instagram pictures alone. But coming over here, which is probably one of my favorite parts of the room, I just have my little 
got stuck, okay. I just have my little desk. So this desk, again, from Ikea. This is a really comfortable chair from Marshalls. Um, a desk, pretty self-explanatory. I have a little cake stand over here, which was originally for the kitchen, but just didn't use it. Um, I have a Louis Vuitton box over here, a little Louis Vuitton pouch that my bracelet came in. I have AirPods, the little clicker for my Instagram pictures. Um, it's just a desk, pretty self-explanatory. Then I have this super round mirror, and you would think I would do my makeup here, but I don't. It's literally just for the aesthetic. Then, my absolute favorite part is my Thank You Next sign. If you guys don't know, Thank You Next is like my life motto. I have it tattooed. It is, it's me. So Thank You Next, and I had to get it in a sign up here, which again, from Etsy. Then, moving on, we have my bed. This is just the mom bed from Ikea. I'm sure it's not too expensive. It's a pretty reasonable price to bed. My sheets, these are not sheets, this is the comforter. My comforter is from Marshalls, it's white. Um, everything's from Marshalls, as you can see. I'm a pretty budget type of shopper. Uh, pillow is from Kohl's. Then we have two black pillows with this beige trim. Um, big white fluffy pillows, and then I have these satin black pillows, which is what I actually sleep, sleep on. Above this, I just have a, this is a 24 by 36, I think. I That might be totally wrong measurement, so don't quote it. But this is just a Louis Vuitton store. I'm not sure where this store is, but I got this off Etsy, and it's really pretty. I feel like it just really ties in the room all together. I also have a Barefoot Dreams blanket on my bed. I really suggest getting one of these. Again, I mentioned it. It's so expensive, but I'm telling you, it's really worth it. So I really like that. Coming over here. As you guys can see, I tried to go for like a neutral white black type theme. Just very like clean looking, minimalistic. I don't really like that much colors. I like to just keep it plain and simple. And I really like it. I also really needed to, to create a space that was for um, filming and I think I did that. So over here, I just have this super huge body mirror which I got from Marshalls. How funny, right? And. I like where it's placed. It makes my room look bigger when I wake up in the morning. Sometimes I sit up and I'm like, you gotta get rough today. Um, but I really like that it's set up so I can see the rest of my room. So when I'm taking like mirror selfies, it'll look good. But then I have a plant down here again from Target. Then coming over here, I just have my heel collection. This is just a few of my heels and I didn't really feel the need to have all of them out, but I feel like it just really adds to it. Like I said, I wanted to have them on display, so I'm super happy that I was able to come up with having them here, and it doesn't make it look cluttered, it doesn't look tacky. Um, I really like that. Then again, I just have some my purses on the floor. I know it's bad to put your purse on the floor, but I'm telling you, the floor's clean, and my money's not stopping, so it's not bad luck for me. But anyway, um, purses on the floor. Then coming over here, I have this little book case, I guess, that I got from Ikea. I really wanted to display my bags, my perfumes, my jewelry, um, my little designer boxes. I just thought it would be super cute, so I'm so glad that I was able to find this. Um, it was not that hard to put together, surprisingly, but at the top of it, I just have some empty Louis Vuitton boxes and bags. The next one has my speaker, a picture of Delaney and I, that's my bestie. Um, the next one has my Louis Vuitton bag that I bought for my birthday for myself. This one is my kind of half perfume, half not, but I have my Thank You Next perfume. I already explained like why I love it, but you know, I have to have it out there. Smells so good. Go buy her new perfume, which is came out the other day. Um, the next one, I have my jewelry. I also have my sunglasses back here, which I think is such a cute way to display them. We have my jewelry out here. I have a little fake plant behind it. Coming to this next um, drawer, not drawer, but it's a shelf. Come in the next shelf. I think this is my favorite one of all of them. So this just has a little like balloon dog and it is gold, super cute. I have my Gucci box behind it. I have a Dior perfume, a Chanel box, a Louis Vuitton box, and a little fake body candle that is so cute. I really want this. So I love this little shelf that I created right here. It really gives me those luxury vibes, um, which is just what I was going for in this bedroom. The next shelf, I have a pair of heels in M, a mirrored M in the back. Um, my watch and my Gucci belt. Um, the bottom one doesn't really have anything in it right now, but I am still working on that, but I do really love that section. Then I just have a little end table. We have my picture frame. This is just a bunch of books, um, designer books. Then we have a little oil diffuser. I believe this is from Marshalls. Again, always Marshalls. I have a little designer box and then my Burberry, um, what is this? Wallet? Yeah, I think it's 
We have a little drawer. Don't keep anything in there. I have another pair of heels down here. These are my, these are my more blinged out heels, obviously. So I had to have them on their own display. And then we have again, the same little holder that's holding the soaps over there. We have it holding this, but that's my room. I really like it, but we're almost on the tour, but not quite yet. So come with me over here. So over here, we have my closet. Looking a little messy right now, but it's getting there. So we have my closet over here, and we have this little picture over here. Um, as you guys can see, it's a Chanel picture. It is cute from Etsy, but let's go to my bathroom. So over here, so over here in my bathroom, it is a very standard bathroom, but I tried to make it look luxury and pretty and cute. Um, and this has a door to the outside to the rest of the apartment. So this was the one that the guests are gonna be using. So I want to make this very nice, but come in. Over here, I just have a picture of the Chanel number no. five perfume. Um, again, black frame. I got all my creams from Michaels and most of the prints I either made them or I got them from Etsy. So coming more in over here, we have the shower, which I love the shower and I think my favorite thing about the shower is that I did brown bottles for the soap. Now again, it's something so small but I feel like it just adds to it and it makes me feel like it's a luxury experience. Um, I really wanted to make it feel like I was in a spa when I was coming to the bathroom. Um, and that's exactly what I think I created so I'm really happy with it. Coming over here, we have the little vanity area, so that's what it's called. Um, I have a little mirror which I got from Michaels, obviously, whatever. Um, then over here, I just have a jar. This one's filled with Epsom salt. This one has some Q-tips. We have a soap dispenser. This is my little tool that I got from Vanity Planet. 10 out of 10 recommend. It like cleared out all my, all my pores. You should really get this. Um, and then we have just an oil diffuser. It's super pretty though. I've never seen one that was this like blinged out, so I really like that. Then we have a little hand towel that I hung up with a command hook. And that's a little vanity. Coming over here. I just did um, a beige towel, white towel, beige towel. Just don't use these towels if you ever come here. Um, use the one over there. These are my decoration towels. But I think they're super cute. I have my little laundry bin, which I still want to find a better place for it, but it's so big, I'm not sure where to put it. Um, in this little cabinet, I just have toilet paper towels, normal bathroom things. Um, up here, I just have three vases or vases, I don't know how to find it, um, with fake plants in them that I got from Michaels. Again, Something so small, but something that I think really adds to it. But that's it for the bathroom. So, as you can see, go like this, and then you're in the rest of the apartment. But that's gonna bring me to the end of this video. So thank you guys for sticking around for my apartment tour. If you guys wanna see the whole move-in, the apartment hunting uh, series, the whole haul, you know, everything that created this, um, watch the playlist, it is titled Moving Vlogs. Um, but yeah, so that's going to be the end of this. I post every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday at 12 o'clock. Uh, all my socials will be right here on the screen as well as in the description box down below. And that's going to be the end of this. Don't forget to subscribe and click the little bell button to be notified every time I post. But that's the end of this. See you guys next time. Okay, bye! -bye.